guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. Today is another special volleyball day. It's the first day of the IVL Men's Open, which is the best men's volleyball league in Northern California. And unfortunately, due to COVID, they weren't able to have it in the last two years. So this is the first year we're coming back. And if you guys have been following the channel for the last couple years, the last season we had was 2019, 2018. So make sure you check out those videos but we are so excited to be back in the gym. This is such good volleyball, and can't wait to show you the videos from here. Let us enter the gates. Look at that, people are already warming up, getting ready to play. So one thing that we had so much fun with at our last tournament, USA Nationals, was the multi-camera view. So we got our GoPro set up here. Right now, we only have two cameras set up, but we're gonna try to do more of that. So we're repping first, we get a chance to warm up a little bit, take our time, and then we're on right after. This also means I get time to put on my trusty Go Sleeve cap sleeves. Put these on nice and easy. These are currently my favorite knee sleeves and cap sleeves. Right now, I'm only wearing the cap sleeves. My quads feel good. I like to feel a little springier, and my Achilles take a long time to warm up, so that's why I like these. If you want to try your own Go Sleeves, which I highly recommend, you can use my discount code in the description box to get 15% off any of their products. One thing that's great about being off is you get to watch all the great volleyball here. Ooh, a roll shot. You guys remember Zach from our USAV team. And then here we go on the third court. Let's recognize Jason, Clay, Neil, Josh. They put their own team together. I've been really enjoying these Dame Sixes. Luckily, the floor is pretty clean today. But man, this is, they have a really good spring. Decent traction, but they're so comfortable. This is like a perfect mixture of firm and, and soft. I have a review video if you want to check it out. I'll leave it linked below, but I've just really been liking these shoes. For the recap first game plan against mental block was just start to get more energy and just work a little harder we really had to bring our cheers back uh, when we get a stuff block chris usually claps twice and we all say kaboom 
and we get a kill. I usually clap twice and then we all say which is what I love to yell when we get a kill. And if we get an ace, Brant claps his hand twice and then we say So that's just a really fun way to get our energy up and to keep us focused and really just to celebrate the good things that we do. So that was our game plan, just dialing in and trying to get back that emotional rhythm. I'll be honest, after that first set, I thought it was going to be a long season because we had two subs and you know, Mental Block it, it traditionally is one of the weaker teams in the league and we were struggling hard against them in that first set and we just had such low energy. People weren't cheering, people were kind of walking into the center, not really engaging each other. So I'm glad that we were able to still walk away with a win and I knew that I had to really turn my serve on to, to kind of get us to that finish line and hopefully by second set after we reset we were able to, we'd be able to have a little bit more of a rhythm and honestly just try a little harder. There are so many plays where we just stopped playing. Either the whistle, either we thought it was four touches or we weren't going all out on defense and that's just always frustrating to watch. So finally felt better the second set and we turned it on for sure. Second match against Namaste, they're usually one of the top three teams and I highly recommend watching all of our previous battles, Tall Ones versus Namaste from the last 2017, 2018, 2019. They're always really, really good games to watch. So we knew that this was gonna be a battle and honestly, I wasn't sure how we were gonna do against a really strong team. We had a chance to watch um, Namaste play as we were off. And we saw that the player in all black and white knee pads was not as strong of a passer. So we made sure we served him and that worked. Uh, we threw them out of system to the point where they actually hit him and serve receive and they actually had their opposite hitter coming to pass. So the next thing you know, we're trying to target him and that also worked. So when we got them out of system, we had a more predictable offense to defend against and then we're able to kill in transition and we definitely were really good in transition this game and honestly it's starting to feel a little closer to the old tall ones energy of great defense and just balls out swinging in transition and terminating in transition and plus we really brought some good serving second set i think namaste i think they switched their outside hitter with their opposite so our original serving target was no longer there but we did try to still serve the guy with the headband because he's usually a really good opposite and so he was playing outside hitter so that worked for a little bit but then namaste started turning on their serving and that made us struggle and get out of system so it's kind of funny how they kind of did the same thing to us we also hit into the block a lot you know we weren't really swinging that smart and Chris had a couple errors into the antenna because he was trying to hit line and he usually crushes those but unfortunately he hasn't been able to work out as much and play a lot recently because he's been really busy with work and family you know life just happens um, but I encourage them to keep swinging what feels right and your body is going to find it eventually as we play more together because we're trying to think long term right we want to do really well over the course of the season and not change too many things based on how we currently are, even if we're a little bit out of shape. Next week, we still have two more subs coming in to play for us, uh, but the third week, we'll finally have our entire team, so looking forward to that. Make sure you watch all my other volleyball vlogs in this playlist right here, and I know you're gonna love this video right here.